This video will be discussing the vendor roles. So let's start out by going to transactions, going to vendors, we'll select advanced tabco, and we'll go down to vendor incentives. I'm going to edit this vendor role and let you see what options are available. We can set minimum orders, we could set small order charges if we don't meet the minimums. Target value is for the future replenishment system. Free freight is what we're using here, saying that we must have $5,000 in this order to achieve free freight. And qualifying item count is also part of the replenishment system. So this is where you'll add your free freight charges. So now that we've got that set, let's go into our purchase order. We'll select purchasing, create receipt POs. We're going to say we want a new purchase order. We'll select our vendors. That's advanced tabco. This is where a purchase order number is automatically created for me. It says it's the fourth one I did today and DPS is my initials. I can change the shipping method if I wish and I can change the terms on this specific order. I can change the ship to to be a company or a customer. So once I've completed here, I click OK. It tells me my vendor rules have not been met because we have no line items. So let's do a lookup and we'll only see line items that belong to the Advanced Tabco. So I'm going to select this item here and I'm going to select Select. So it tells me my cost is $44.89.50. So I have the ability to change my ship dates or my expected date. Or if I want to do anything with my description, I can create more data uh, for a description if I wish. When I'm using the auto quote import in a purchase order, it will put the full spec here. So I click OK. Now I still have not met the rules. So I'm going to use another item or I'm going to take an additional purchase order that we did for Advanced Tabco that had not enough freight and merge the two together so we can get freight for free. So let's look up another item and uh, we'll select this unit here. This one is a cost of $7,600. We'll accept that. Now my vendor rules have been met. And then I can go and say I want to uh, save and process this order. Basically I'm releasing it to the vendor. I can process now. Saving it will let me come back and make additional changes if necessary. Process Now sends it out to the vendor. I can email it to the vendor or I can print a purchase order or neither and just continue. I'm going to print a PO, Preview, and here is my purchase order with my two items. Now. If this is, again, a imported auto quote project, I would see the auto quote line numbers right through this area here. So that's how you utilize the vendor rules to get, in this case, the free freight.